In today's video, women are discussing about sleep divorce. What is your take on sleep divorce? Sleep, is, sleep divorce simply means you're not sleeping in the same room, on the same bed with your husband, but you, you all are in the same house. So basically, you can be like flatmates, you know, but you're not sleeping together. Mm -hmm. What is your take on sleep divorce? Does it make sense or not? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch and I'll be back. My neighbor just came over here and told me that everybody's talking about sleep divorce. You have to tell your story. But first, there's two things that you need to know about me. One, sleep is very important to me. And two, I love my husband. In that order. For 15 years, I endured sleeping next to that man. And here's what I mean by that. For starters, he falls asleep faster than a cashier at Aldi, which means I don't have a chance to fall asleep before his face symphony begins. Then cue the snoring, the midnight trips to the bathroom, the sleep yelling, the 5 a.m. wake-ups, the farting, the sweating. Do you know what runs through that man's core? Liquid hot magma. We tried a king bed. We thought the extra space would help. But no, that just meant that my imaginary Thor's hammer could no longer reach his stupid face. I tried aggressive bed wiggling, but then I just looked like an angry worm. Then we tried a sound machine, and that eventually got so loud that I felt like I was sleeping on the damn launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. I cannot begin to describe the rage that I felt. I legitimately wanted to rearrange his face on the daily. So finally he got a sleep study and no surprise, he has sleep apnea. So then he got a CPAP and I thought, this is it, this is the promised land, I'm finally gonna sleep. Nope. The mask starts whistling like a and when the pressure's too high in the mask, his lips flap in the breeze. Not like a, more like a, and then he rolls over and the tube drags across the nightstand. Do you know what that sounds like? I mean, are you cartooning me? Like, are you cartooning me? And then I got strep throat in March of 2020, right as the pandemic was shutting the world down. So I slept in the guest bedroom. And then I was like, this is pretty awesome. I'm sleeping like a grandfather after Thanksgiving dinner. I wake up happier and well rested and he doesn't have to suffer eye daggers and death threats from a sleep deprived honey badger. Mm -hmm. You know, sleep divorce implies something negative. But you know what's truly negative? Murder. You know, life is short. Do what makes you happy. Who cares what other people think? Just get some rest. Hey, beautiful people. I was in today. It's your girl, Maria David. And I'm back again with another interesting video. What is your take on sleep divorce? With everything that she mentioned, I am going to divorce sleep. <laughs> because someone like me i don't sleep I, I don't sleep well naturally like i don't sleep well naturally then all those noise and everything i won't be able to sleep so i understand her own side of you know but then let me know your thoughts down in the comment section i have few reactions from women you know and i'll share with you all so sit down relax and let's watch your stitches together and i'll be back at the end of all the stitches my neighbor just came over here and told me that everybody's talking about sleep divorce. You have to tell your story. If you can't sleep beside the person that you signed up to be in a marriage or a relationship or a long-term relationship or whatever. I don't want to be roommates. I don't want to be sleeping with my roommate. Like, that's awkward. If I wanted roommates, I would have roommates. Like, I don't care if you snore, if you talk in your sleep, if you grind your teeth. Or do something, like get earplugs, get something. If you like playing video games in the middle of the night, like just learn how to sleep through it. Like, I don't want to sleep in different bedrooms. Like, I love sleeping beside somebody who's warm. So I sleep in a really cold room. I've always done that. Um, but like, what? Don't. Uh.
This is so, this is, I have too much, this is too much, like, what? This is, it's like, the topic of, like, nobody's having sex in marriages anymore, because, like, as soon as somebody gets married, they don't want to have sex anymore, like, what? I, I'm a, fuck, I'm, I, I don't get this anymore, I have, th- this internet has problems, and if you're not happy in your marriage, or something's not going on, like, I don't know, and it's like people who keep changing their husbands, to be who they wanted to be, like, okay, but you fell in love with that person to be with them, and then you try to change them to who you want to be, so then you say you don't love them anymore because you've changed them, and how they dress, and how they look, and how they, like, let them fucking be them. If you fell in love with a a person, let them continue being that person. Like, we're not... This is why people have problems. And why I'm single. Because, like, all the guys I have contact with, like, all have problems with their exes or wives or, like, issues. And social media is so fake nowadays. It's not even funny. Like, fuck. I just don't get it. My neighbor just came over here and told me that everybody's talking about sleep divorce. Sorry for my terrible lighting because my province's power grid is failing. So this is my chosen singular light that's on in my house right now. Um, But I think I have everybody beat with this story right now. I have been in one relationship where sleep divorce was ever on the table and I'm the one who brought it up. Okay, so let's go back to 2017. I started dating this guy. He's like tall and handsome and he was like on a national sports team. And, you know, I thought he was into me. So like, ooh, like dream relationship right there. Uh, We started dating and, you know, right from the get go, he was pretty upfront that there was something wrong with his sleep. But I, you know, I snore. So like, who am I to judge? That was not a deal breaker to me. Um, And, you know, sometimes he would talk in his sleep and it was like fun and quirky and I'd record him on my phone, uh, like on like a voice memo and we'd like laugh together in the morning about some of the weird unhinged things he was saying. Um, But then we moved in together and things really took a turn for the worse because, you know, I kind of knew that he had night terrors sometimes, but they were like rare but they became every single night. And when I mean night terror, I mean that he thought that I was a giant spider trying to eat him alive and that he couldn't get away from me or something like that. So he would basically be in a dead sleep and so would I. I would, I'd be like dead asleep on the other side of the bed. And then I would suddenly get like an elbow to the rib or, or the back or like I'd get hit. And then he would like shoot straight up like a zombie, um, like it was ridiculous. Like he just like literally go like, and like sit straight up. And then he starts like screaming and then he would run butt naked into the closet where he'd proceed to have like a meltdown. So I would have to get up out of bed and be like, Hey sweetie, like come back to bed. Everything's fine. They're not going to get you. I'm here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, come back to bed. And then he would wake up in the morning having like little to no recollection of what happened. And I'd have to be like, Hey, like you hit me again last night. What is there something going on in your life? Are you stressed? Like what's happening? Um, and so it just kept getting worse. Um, cause this would happen every single night around midnight, 1am, um, every single night. So I would start going to my office and like playing games until like one or 2am. And this was causing a lot of resentment and tension between us because I didn't feel safe going to sleep. Um, cause I might get hit or, you know, he might startle me thinking like, you know, screaming bloody murder. Um, and for him, I, you know, he wasn't able to spend quality time with me, like snuggling and stuff at night. So, you know, there's two sides to all this. Um, So it got to a point where I'm sleep deprived. I'm like hallucinating at work because I'm just so tired. And I start begging this man to go see a doctor. Now, I don't know what's up with men and like putting off their like health needs and stuff like that. But I literally begged this man to go see a doctor. I even tabled like breaking up. Like I gave him the ultimatum. Like you get help from a professional or like we're done. I can't keep doing this. Um, so he finally like goes after a few months uh, <laughs> to see a doctor and he gets a referral to a sleep clinic. So they do a sleep study and it doesn't work because he rips it off 
during a night terror spell um and they had to go wait to do another one so like a week later he does a second one they make sure they, they like really tape him up good this time and then he gets diagnosed with sleep apnea so i'm like oh finally we have answers like this can finally stop um so he gets a cpap machine and honestly i didn't really mind like the extra like white noise from like this machine like blowing air and stuff um but the night terrors didn't stop. And I can imagine from his perspective that it was even more terrifying because not only is he being, you know, eaten alive by a giant spider in his dream, um, who resembles his girlfriend, but now he's got his face attached to this machine that he can't necessarily just like leap up and get away from anymore. So yeah, it just, it got really bad. So at one point I started saying like, hey, you know, why don't I move my stuff out of the office and that can be your bedroom now? Like, why don't we, we can, we can still like, you know, be in love and be in a relationship, but we could sleep in different rooms because I just, I cannot keep doing this. Um, and you know, ultimately the relationship didn't work out for other reasons, but yeah. And like, I can neither confirm nor deny that I am a giant spider trying to eat people that I love in my, in my sleep, but you know, it is what it is. I hope he's doing better now. Also, he would hate the house I bought because it's literally full of spiders. So my neighbor just came over here and told me that everybody's talking about sleep divorce. You have to tell your story. I'm all for separate bedrooms. It also makes me think about back in the day how they portrayed married couples in TV shows. Well, they'll be in the same room, but they have their own twin size bed. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So yeah, the separate bedrooms take it a step further. Definitely recommend it though, especially if you're big on decorating a certain type of way. Yes. Firstly, yeah, can you put your thoughts, your comments, your opinion, your suggestion down in the comment section? And thank you so much for sticking around to this point. Sleep divorce. <laughs> you know, aside from the first stage, the remaining um, women that, you know, explain themselves, you can tell that even the whole situation around them sleeping with their partner is more or less like a death threat so and we all know medically health wise it's good to sleep well it's good to have a good night's sleep if you are not sleeping well you're depriving yourself from sleep it affects your health it affects you mentally so you cannot say because of marriage or because i'm married to this man i want to show him that i really really love him I am going to stay in the same bed with him while he kicks me and hits me and snores and makes so annoying noise that will not allow me to sleep. That definitely, you're being selfish to yourself because you are not taking care of your health, but he is sleeping and taking care of his health while you are not doing same to yourself. So it shows that you don't love yourself, in my own opinion. And one thing I noticed about this um, sleep divorce, I feel like it happens most of the time when marriages are have stayed so long and the, aside from the oh when the man snores and even though, even though the man doesn't snore he sleeps well he does everything he doesn't kick you he doesn't do anything it doesn't make awkward noise at night but i noticed that people that have stayed so long in marriages tend to stay away from each other it tends to the, the women who now like have their own room you know because they want that privacy the one that you know just want to sleep well and i don't know why some people think that until you sleep beside somebody you love shows that you really love the person what if you sleeping beside somebody you love doesn't even make you sleep well because of what they do in the midnight farting is part of it maybe you're someone that doesn't sleep deep <laughs> and you're sleeping close to somebody you love and they fat a lot i'm not saying they do it intentionally but they just do it how do you sleep with that annoying smell <laughs> a lot of reason a lot of things that you know is attached to this sleep divorce and to me if you ask me is sleep divorce i see it's 50 50 because i personally i don't as i said earlier I don't sleep well. In fact, I have to take medication, not medication, like supplements that will just calm me. In the midnight, I don't really sleep like that. So 
I don't know. So if I now want to sleep and I'm hearing annoying noise, annoying or something distracts me, I'm just going to wake up and my eyes are like this. Throughout the night, I won't be able to sleep again and I'm up and going the next day. So someone like me, sleep divorce is going to be important. <laughs> if you're depriving me of my sleep, okay? And there's nothing wrong for me. Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with a wife having her own bedroom and the husband having his own bedroom you know it doesn't mean that you all are not going to have sexual intercourse it doesn't mean that the marriage is going to scatter it doesn't mean that you all don't love each other it's just you know preference if it's agreeable between the both of you anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly of turn on the post notification bell to get get notified when I upload an interesting video like this one. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.